uh, humans of the cardboard, welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Huge drop of news today, guys. We actually have uh, pretty much the reveal for an entire Earthbound Immortal archetype. I know what you're saying, John. We have a ton of Earthbound Immortal cards already in the game, but it feels like it isn't even really an archetype. It's just like a cluster of cards. They don't even fully work together that great as of right now, but I guess they're just going in and making this thing a full fledged archetype i was not expecting this at all but it's very exciting so let's just get into it I'm, I'm really curious i've always thought they had really cool designs like the aztec i believe um correct me if i'm wrong but aztec or inca um like esque markings on a lot of the the creatures are really really cool so let's get into this starting off here we start with earthbound prisoner ground keeper he is a level one dark fiend tuner effect monster 300 attack 300 defense you can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can special summon a level five or lower earthbound immortal monster, or sorry, just earthbound monster from your deck or graveyard, except for itself. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except fusion and synchro. Interesting. Okay, second effect, the earthbound monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects while there is a card in the field zone. That includes himself. Wow, he actually protects himself from destruction as long as there's anything in the field zone that's pretty cool um that seems to be one of the weaknesses of this strategy is that you have to have a field spell up on the field for a lot of the monsters to really do anything at all but i will say this this card's restriction not that bad it locks you out of links and exceeds but you can do a lot with just fusions and synchros so we'll have to see how far we can go with that i'm assuming we'll see some of those here this is a really good card all right just tour guide uh can also summon from grave which is really cool hopefully some of the other level five or lowers are really good and uh we'll have to wait and see but that's a really good like starter card apparently okay from here we move to a level five guy this is earthbound prisoner stone sweeper big you know fish looking guy here level five dark fiend effect monster 16 16 for the stats you can only special summon uh this card with the first effect once per turn you can only use the second effect once per turn if there is a card in the field zone, you can special summon this card from the hand. Again, having a card in the field zone really helps. I don't know if that means you play this with other engines that inherently use a field spell. Um, there's so many good engines that use field spells in Yu-Gi-Oh! these days, but we'll see. Uh, second effect, you can discard this card to add a level 3 or lower Fiend Tuner from your deck to your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except Fusion Synchros. Again, just another really good consistency card. And this is generic. This card searches any level 3 or lower Fiend Tuner. Now, it's important to note, you're going to get locked into Fiend Fusions and Synchros, but level 3 Fiend Tuner. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't think of anything that's like super jumps out of me, but I'm, th I'm sure there's some stuff. Didn't we just see, actually, Jack Atlas get a, a level... Uh, a new resonator that's actually a good starter card this might just search that and if that's a synchro based deck this could just be a good consistency card there we'll have to uh, see but that's cool another good card i mean really it's just a good card and nothing to say there all right moving on we have earthbound prisoner line walker this is our last main deck monster here this is a level three fiend tuner of course 800 attack 1100 defense first and second effects are hard ones per turn the first one reads if this card is normal or special summoned you can add an earthbound prison or harmonic synchro fusion from your deck or graveyard to your hand very interesting okay so this as well is a searcher and it's just straight up summonable off of this guy this guy can search this guy to then get this guy from deck uh while all going like pretty plus there that's just like a straight up plus two very cool uh we'll have to just see how good those cards are Second effect, uh, second effect, if you control a level 6 or higher Earthbound monster, you can banish this card from Grave, then target one opponent's effect monster. Special summoned from the extra deck, shuffle it into the deck. Then uh, your opponent can special summon one monster with the same name from their extra deck. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, all right, never mind. That's not nearly as good. Um, summon from the extra shuffle it into the deck, and your opponent I mean, just like, why would your opponent ever not special summon <laughs> on that? I, I don't really get that. Um, uh, okay. I mean, I don't know. There's not... I, I don't know why that effect would be used, but I it's there. I guess there could be very specific scenarios, but just okay to me. All right. Let's get into some of the fusions here. We have Earthbound Servant Geo Kraken. He looks awesome. I love the artwork for this deck. It's so cool. All right, level eight Dark Fiend Fusion Effect Monster, 2800 attack, 1200 effects, uh, defense. It takes any two Earthbound monsters, which is nice, pretty um, easy. It doesn't, it doesn't take an Immortal or anything, which is great. 
First and second effects, hard once per turn. If this card is special summoned, you can add one field spell from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Okay, now we are talking because if the fusion just is a basic fusion, that means opening this guy or this guy is one card, get two of these two of these guys on the field, this guy searches the fusion, and then boom, plop this guy, search any field spell in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Seems pretty good. That's deck or graveyard again, so you can even get something back. Second effect, if a monster is special summoned from your opponent's extra deck, you can destroy as many of their monsters special summoned this turn as possible, and if you do, inflict 800 damage for uh, to them for each monster destroyed by this effect. That's just an incredible card. That is a legit good interruption on top of a legit insane really good search effect as well. It's really, really good. I don't, I don't have much else to say there. This card's just really nuts. Okay, that's really good. All right, from here we move to Earthbound Servant G... Oh, sorry, we might as well do the dub. Earthbound Servant Geograsha, level 10 Dark Fiend Fusion Effect Monster, 3k, 18 for the stats. He does take an Earthbound Fusion to start, so you're probably using this guy to start, and then also, also an Earthbound Synchro. So unless the Fusion card is not uh, is broken and like Abe, Abe allows you to, like you know what I mean, banish from Grave or something, this one's probably going to be pretty hard to make. Must be Fusion Summon, second effect is a hard one's return. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles a monster, change that monster's attack and defense to zero. Fine. If an opponent's monster is destroyed by a battle or card effect, you can destroy all cards they control. That's pretty good. Because if you just pair this with any way to destroy an opponent's monster at all, you also wipe every card they control. That's pretty good. Third effect, if this face-up card leaves the field by your opponent, so battle, card effect, however, you can special summon an Earthbound monster from your deck or extra deck. Um, not a terrible card. It doesn't interrupt by itself. It needs to be paired with something else to actually have a good interruption effect, but the battle phase effect is pretty decent. allows you to pretty much clear over anything and uh, also trigger the, sec the, uh, the second effect, but that's not interruptive. That's just more, you know, board cleary. Uh, the third effect's a pretty good float, but I honestly just think this one's just straight up better. I mean, I guess if you can go further, then I guess you can get to this guy, but this one's a legit interruption. This one gets you an insane search on summon. I don't know. Um, I like this one a lot more. Also, this one's on special, not on fusion. So if you can just reborn this after you summon it, uh, you also, or even just cheat it out off of Grasha, it searches. That's so crazy. Okay, couple synchros moving on here. We saw that uh, the, the deck only locks you into fusions and synchros. What do we have here? This is Earthbound Servant Geo Gremlin. <laughs> Love the name. This is a level 6 Dark Fiend Synchro 2k, 1000 for the stats. It does require a Dark Tuner, but other than that, it's generic. You can only use the first and second effects of this card once per turn. During the main phase, quick effect. You can target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Your opponent chooses one of these effects for you to apply. Destroy that monster or gain life points equal to that monster's attack. Ah! Oh, why? Like, why would they ever choose to, to, to destroy it? Uh, like, I don't know. That's pretty, that's pretty whack. Like, wh what? Okay. During the battle phase, quick effect, you can fusion summon an earthbound fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials mentioned on it from your hand, field, and or graveyard. Wow. So a quick effect, it's only during battle phase, so that is a little bit clunky as far as getting this done, like, turn one before it's your opponent's turn to get into the Kraken guy. Um, but that's still pretty insane. Because, like, just summoning this guy means you would probably already have materials in Grave for the fusion summon. He still has his other effect to just use every turn. Uh, I mean, it's probably just gaining you life points most of the time, but, like, still, that's something. Um, but that's actually pretty good. If this was just a legit quick effect and not battle phase only, this would be insane, but it's just okay, I think. Um, we'll see. Definitely could still have a place, though. Uh, the last Synchro and extra monster we have here is Earthbound Servant Geo Griffin. He looks awesome as well. I love his design. Level 8 Dark uh, Fiend Synchro Effect Monster. He's 2,500 attack, 1,500 defense. One Dark Tuner. The other, one, other material is generic. You can only use the first and second effects of this card once per turn. Quick Effect. You can special summon an Earthbound monster from your graveyard in defense position, except for itself. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra for their turn, except Fusion and Synchro. Not bad at all. I love it. That's a quick effect, so you can get way... It's like some pretty nasty follow-up by being able to reborn either your Linewalker or 
your uh, your groundkeeper to just get another search for next turn. Or like I said, Geo Kraken. It, he, he triggers on special, not on fusion. So you can just reborn him and get another search. That's quite powerful, powerful as well. Not bad. If this card is destroyed by your opponent, you can destroy one card on the field, then inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each Earthbound monster with different names you control and in your grave. Not too worried about that. It has to be destroyed by your opponent. So I'm guessing most of the time they'll just not destroy it. It is what it is. Um, so whatever. All right, now let's finish up with the last two spells here. I'm assuming this are these are the two cards we read about earlier. When this card is... This is a field spell, by the way, which is huge because the deck really likes having a field spell out. When this card is activated, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls. This card gains this effect. Negate that monster's effects. Huh? Target one... This card gains... So, are you saying the field spell gains the effect to negate that monster's effects? So this just becomes like an actual good going second field spell. Okay. Second effect, during your main phase, you can normal summon one earthbound monster in addition to your normal summoner set. That's pretty good as well. That's actually pretty nice. Uh, not complaining about that at all. I think these are hard ones for turns, but being able to like summon a different one and then use the other one to go ahead and uh, to get a normal summon and just get extra bodies, extra searches. Not bad, for sure. Um... And then if this card is destroyed by an opponent's card effect and you have an Earthbound monster on field or in your grave, have your opponent's life points. And if you do, negate the effects of all face-up cards they currently control until the end of this turn. Interesting. Okay, so that's like a healthy-ish punish for anybody actually uh, rem destroying this card, but that's not that's not too bad. Um, this is a pretty decent card, I think. Um, I'm sure there could be certain combos where that extra normal summon is pretty decent. The fact that it's actually a field spell that does bait an eruption going second uh, is actually pretty good. Um, and then the, the punish is also interesting. I think mean, that's just a generic good card, all, all things considered. Lastly, we have here Harmonic Synchro Fusion. So my guess is uh, we already have the other card here what is this searches or oh no it searches either one of those okay so it either searches the the earthbound prison or this card here okay cool um here we go this is a normal spell card you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn you can't special monsters the turn you use this uh except fusions and synchros obviously send two face-up monsters you control to the graveyard one tuner and one non-tutor unfortunately this is cost but it's, it can't be ashed, at least, I think. Uh, special summon one fusion monster and one synchro monster from your extra deck that can be fusion and synchro summoned using only the sent monsters in the graveyard as material. Holy crap. That's insane. Oh, this card is generic. Wow. There's going to be some stuff you can definitely do with this that's, like, insane. This does not have to summon earthbound synchros this can just be any synchro that fits the levels plus any fusion that's generic right you could just summon garura if we want to draw that's crazy holy shnikes um okay that is um that is pretty cool now it does need two monsters on field this is not a fusion that needs stuff from uh from hand um or doesn't cheat from grave doesn't cheat from deck or anything like that so keep that in mind but that's pretty good Wow, okay. Um, you know what? All in all, I'm pretty impressed. I don't know off the top of my head everything this archetype has going for it so far, but its restrictions are literally just that it locks you into fusions and synchros. That is it. Uh, there are no other restrictions here. So potential synchro engines to play in here, potential you know other stuff. There's definitely a lot of potential here. I, I, I don't know fully where it can or will go, but I'm it's it's super interesting i i need to look more into some of the earthbound monsters uh and what we have so far but this is a this is a good wave of cards i like i can't really say anything other than that it's just these are some strong cards all things considered i was not expecting earthbound immortal to get 
a, uh, a wave this big and strong. It's pretty good. Um, but yeah, you know, as someone who's a novice to this archetype, doesn't know a ton of what can work with it off the top of my head, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear where you guys are on this stuff. If you know more about this, if you have an idea of something that can splash with it immediately out the gate, let me know down below. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on that. But I'm out of for today. Very, very cool news. I'm. This is a. This is a really big boost. You know, the Salamangre stuff was kind of underwhelming last night. The Blast Battle Boxer card was a dud. But then we get this in Animation Chronicle. It's pretty hype. So I'm out of here for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Like I said, subscribe if you haven't. If you want to see more videos like this one from me down the line, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.